Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we're here to talk about Drakenfest 2023. And and honestly, in the like we're going to talk about Drakenfest, but we're also going to talk about like being in silver and like the silver camp experience because I feel like the silver camp experience is um not well understood. Um, but before I get into that, let's talk about what Drakenfest is. So Drakenfest is a week long event taking place at Cooper's Lake Campground in Pennsylvania. It's by Pittsburgh. Um, and it's basically really, so it's, it's like seven days, but really it's more like four days of LARP that are in play. Um, so we have, we start on Wednesday with the opening ceremonies. Then we have a full day of play on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then uh, the game is like soft closed on Saturday night where we all just party, have a good time, all in character and like role play, and then we go home on Sunday. So um, this year, uh, the winner was Green Camp. Boy, oh boy, there is a whole story there. Um, but really what I, uh, I wanted to get into was just like, I kind of went into my personal experience and told you guys a story last, last year. Um, this year, I think being in silver was inherently just, it was just like a different vibe. So we had like an actual wall we had to build. We had a camp we had to organize. But the thing was, is that, you know, we were, of course, we're the smallest, right? And like the, the, the part that sucks about being a really small camp at Drakenfest is that you just have less resources, right? You have less people, less money to pool together, less resources. So that's like, that's like one thing you have to keep in mind. And I'm pretty sure Silver's not gonna explode in popularity anytime soon. Or maybe this video will have us with 150 players next year. Who knows? But for this year, we were like, I think, like 40 players while well, there were camps with like a hundred people in them 120 people in them so uh we were definitely we were definitely the smallest but i personally would like to think that we had the most heart and i i think you know one thing that i hope is better communicated in um the rule book this upcoming year is how much time and dedication it takes to play a camp role Hi everyone, editing Raquel here. So um, you're gonna be hearing me a lot off, more often because I've been filming these videos way in advance. Uh, I just wanted to step in and say that Drakenfest US actually really did hear this feedback and uh, recently came out with a week long blog series all about the camp roles, how they work, uh, and each one individually as well as an overview for like camp roles as a whole. So I just wanted to say thank you so much, you know, Drakenfest US. Definitely go check out the uh, Drakenfest US blog. They always have a lot of updates there, um, as you can see on the screen. So they heard us. <laughs> Don't worry. We have way more prep going in for this year for the camp leadership roles. So out of all the roles, uh, there's the champion, the uh the general or the spy master the council which is not a group of people it's a singular person and then we have the head diplomat um i want to make it really clear to all y'all that if you are gonna go for a camp role like like a named camp position guys that's your whole event like that's your if you're picking that and you're saying i want to do this that is all you are going to do no you're really not gonna have time to go fritter about play the game in different ways it's just it's just not it's not gonna happen so just know that if you're going to take a camp role it is a commitment and it's like that's your game you are picking what your game is going to be and it's gonna be chaotic, you know? And there's like responsibilities with each of these roles and like what they represent in the camp. It's not just a name title, it's a name title with like camp responsibilities and game responsibilities that you need to fulfill. I think a lot of players focused on the war aspect and I think it frustrated a lot of folks. Uh, but on the flip side of that, you know, I don't think as a whole, a lot of people understood or knew that there is a quest system. Um, and there is, there is a quest system, but it's not like a, you go up to an NPC and get a quest or whatever. You go up to the, like, you, I mean, you kind of can go up to the avatar and be like, what can I do to 
lift Silver's ranks. And so I had kind of sniffed around and I had put together that there was a bizarre quest for Silver and there was also a like Silver's Virtue quest. So basically enacting one of Silver's Virtues could get us dragon eggs and um, doing a quest in which Silver cat, um, wrote down and categorized every uh, shop in the bazaar, which wow, that took a lot of effort. Um, and kudos to everybody that, that helped out with that one. Uh, and that, simply for those two quests and our win in the final battle is how we got second place this year. Um, but I feel like if more people knew that they could be doing quests or doing things and getting, like just role playing and then getting rewarded with a dragon egg for enacting like virtues of the camps and like, but like I said, bizarre quests or, you know, the mage guild quests or whatever would probably really help the game more because combat is, combat and stealing banners is like the least efficient way to win Drakenfest from like everything I've read and like all that I can gather uh, and all the questions that I have asked. It's really like from what I hear as well overseas, it's like most people win, like most camps that win Drakenfest win it because of the quests that they were doing. Winning isn't Drakenfest's focus. Like, I feel like the competition is like the least important part of it. You know, the most important part is having fun and like role playing with one another. And I think people definitely get lost in the sauce. I mean, it's a huge event and it, it's like, there's nothing else in the United States like this. So I, I can understand um, kind of feeling like, whoa, this is a lot. I don't wanna really know how this works, yada, yada, yada. And, I'm hoping that in the coming years that as this like community grows and we understand each other and more people understand how to lift somebody in play and more camps understand their identities and uh, as groups as a whole, they understand who they are and what they do, that um, it'll come together just a, a little bit easier. Let's go over the Silver Camp principles because I feel like people don't read the rule book and the website and like, Silver is, I'm, I am literally gonna open my phone and read it to you guys right now because I love y'all, but some of y'all don't read the book. <laughs> and so right here on the website, it says, silver, just prudence and mercy, chivalry and noble virtues, pride and decadence and righteous wrath. And I'm not going to lie, there was a part of me that thought it was really funny that people were like, I, I can't believe that Silver thinks they're better than everyone else. And it's like, I, guys, that's that's our brief. That's what we're, <laughs> us as players don't think we're better than you, but our characters might. That's like, but I love the idea of Silver looking like paladins or like a bunch of fancy, white and silver mages with sticks up their butts, but yet not being able to determine if a passport is fake or not. Now, gonna go into the passports really uh, as a brief aside is that, so I went ahead and I designed these passports. Now the passport idea comes from Germany originally. And uh, Charlize, I haven't been to Germany yet. Charlize went to Germany and she talked about these passports. So me being a graphic designer, I went full throttle, full throttle into over designing these passports. Like I, I over designed them, but I'm proud of them. And here they are. If I haven't put them on the screen, they're on the screen. And I'm super proud of my dumb little passports. Um, but I didn't think that they were gonna be such a hit and I didn't think it was gonna create so much play, which clearly was, I'm a fool. Cause it, they, wow. Uh, not only did we have gate guards that asked for your passport every single time to the point where I had gotten in trouble for not having my passport on me, which alas, foiled by my own creation. <laughs> it may, we were aiming for it to make play. I was aiming for it to make play in the sense that if you forged a passport, the joke was, is that you would be let in because Silver Camp couldn't determine, like the, none of us could determine whether or not a passport was real or not. Like that's, we have these super, super over-designed passports, but if you came up to us with a stick figure on a napkin, we'd be like, hmm, yes, this, this, this looks appropriate. Come on in. Cause we could, that's the joke. So it's like, I, 
I feel like Silver is very much Monty Python, but I think the outward perception is that we're a bunch of stuck up snobs, which like, yeah, guys, we filled the, that's why we're part, we're the first camp, okay? Like, we're part of life and like, we're, we're doing the whole justice and noble virtues and ch chivalry and pride, pride, pride being the real big one there, guys. So like, yeah, of course we're a little bit up our own snobs, but like, that's the whole point. Um, and I hope I, I hope I can clear that up a little bit because, uh, it, and not everybody in Silver has to roleplay it like a snob. It's just, I think the air of Silver, uh, is considered snobbery. And listen, we have a lot of pride and we love our decadence, okay? And we'll, we'll get into that too. We also had a camp coordinator, um, who was, uh, Livy Living Life, which you guys may have seen her on Instagram. I'll probably put some adorable picture of Lily right over here. I love Livy, she's fabulous. And I can't wait to go to her wedding. Uh, she's super great. And she rocked it as a, as like the silver camp uh, camp coordinator. Like, I thought she did a marvelous job. Uh, there was a lot of chaos around the camp coordinators, and, uh, Livy had to pick up a lot of pieces and f fix everything and get a donation, like, box going, and we had a fraction of the amount of time that the, all the other camps did. And honestly, with what we did and how our camp looked, I'm happy with it. I thought our wall was incredible and kudos to everybody who absolutely busted ass building that wall on like the, the days before the game, like on Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, and even into Wednesday and finishing up as far as Thursday to make adjustments. Like that was, it, it, it really brought Silver to the next level. And I, I feel like for us being so small, it made such a powerful statement. And that was really cool. And that wouldn't have happened without uh, last year's uh, Silver champion, uh, Charlize. Like she, she whew, the player of Charlize really, she designed everything, did the math. Like there was, there was a lot to it. And it just frankly, Silver Camp wouldn't have looked as cool without her. Nobody knew. But I was off in silver and like people will say like, oh, I was really hard to find. I was never around. It was because I was doing the silver quest and one of them baby was enacting our virtue. And the virtue that I chose to enact was decadence, which means Alicia Dura and Raquel became best friends with the spa. Oh, we stand, we stand the spa. And everybody who knows about the decadence showing, you know, if you know, you know, uh, it was a great time. But I, I think going forward, I hope something that um, Silver focuses on is, um, you know, bringing us all together. And we're all on the same team. We all want the same thing. We're fighting under the Silver Dragon. We enact his values, maybe with different interpretations, but with all the same heart, I would say, same heart and soul, like in the right place. I think that, you know, as a collective, we can definitely strive to push both our our decadence and our love of luxury to the next level maybe next year um but also the impact of diplomacy and spy mastery stuff like i think every camp could honestly like again guys just saying it out loud fighting is not the way to win dragon fest like the final battle does not determine the winner, it just gives them a bonus of eggs. And if you've already collected a bunch of eggs by doing quests, well, I, you know, who knows? It could change the tide of the game, maybe not. Overall, my time at Dragon Fest was, of course, super fun. And again, shout out to the spa crew, because y'all made my time a lot, just excellent. So for this year for Dragon Fest, um, it's June 17th to June 23rd. Uh, 2024 and it's still at Cooper's Lake it was it was such an awesome campsite too because it has like a store and it has like bathrooms has a laundromat it was just it's such a great campsite I I honestly loved it more than the one we had last year even though we had air conditioning because there's something just about like being in a tent that just makes you feel more immersed like right off the bat um and I, I'm really excited to see what the team does. I'm really excited to see uh, what rules are changed and like how things are explained better. And I, I'm excited to be a part of that too. I can't wait to like help you guys understand the game more. Um, 
And I hope this video gives you a little bit more insight on like the Silver Camp experience and the Drakenfest Camp Interactive experience. Cause like, listen, I, I've seen some of the other reviews and they're fabulous. You know, you have people from Blue Camp talking about how they had a great time. They partied hard. They all love each other. You know, shirtless men fighting in the ring. We stand. I was there. I watched it. It was a great time. Like that's the fun of Drakenfest. I think we all, including myself, like have to make sure that we put a lot of love and a lot of passion to it. Don't get lost in the sauce. Remember that it's just a game and we're all here to have fun. So that's all I have for you today. I kind of just wanted to make this a simple and sweet um, kind of video about Drakenfest and the Silver Camp experience. And I hope it was fun and informative. I guess I'll talk to you later and happy LARPing.